In this video, we're going to take a look at some site sharing icon options. But before we get started, I want to point out a few more things about the Jetpack user interface. You'll note that each one has a checkbox, and then at the top there's a bulk actions option. So you can bulk activate or deactivate. That's pretty handy. You can search modules, and it narrows the options on the fly. You don't even have to hit enter. You can choose to view all, or only active, or only inactive. And then you can sort alphabetical, newest, and popular. And then they're categorized here on the right. So you could see only the social ones if you'd like. So let's take a look at the social icons. It's right here under sharing. And if you click, it tells you a little bit about it. And there's even a video. So let's activate. And now we're going to go back to the sharing option and hover. And you'll see now there's a configure button. And here's where we choose what share buttons we want. These are the available ones. And to activate them, we drag them down here. So I'm going to activate email, Facebook, and Twitter. And then here's a live preview of what they're going to look like on my site. And here's the button style. Right now it's icon and text. You could switch to icon only or text only. We'll leave it at official buttons. There's a sharing label, and I'll show you what that looks like in a few minutes. And then you can choose where to have them. I'm going to say front page, posts, and pages. And then they want your Twitter site tag if you're using Twitter. They just want to know your username. And you have the option to disable CSS and JS, but I don't recommend it unless you really know what you're doing. So let's save changes. And then I will load up the front of the website. And right here, below my excerpt, you can see my share buttons. If I click email, it brings this up. If I click tweet, it sends me over to Twitter. And if I click Facebook, it loads it up like this. And then if you want to get rid of one, you simply drag it out. And you don't even have to hit save. Now, do you remember there was a share this label? It's right here. If we get rid of it all together, and click Save, then we have this. Now, the location and styling of these buttons depends a little bit on your theme. These buttons are hooking into a specific point in the theme. If that point doesn't exist in the theme, then they're not going to appear. So it's possible these buttons may not work for you. But in any well-made theme, they should work just fine. And now I have them on every post. And they can be shared from anywhere by anyone. 